Hello, welcome to Level Chain Channel. My name is Claudio Fonseca. I'm a real pilot. Uh, we are talking about all the options that we have for the 737 from PMDG and today specifically about the FMC. As I know, it's a lot of content. I've created a document. You can download this document through the video description below. And this is a list of uh, videos that covers all the PMDG 737 options that I've made to this channel. For example, today we are going to talk about uh, the FMC and we are going to talk about these options here. If you want to know anything else, like for example, uh, what is the V1 callout, you just have to go to the EGPWS video and so on. Of course, on this uh, green rectangle to the right, you have the hyperlink to go direct to the video. So today we are going to talk about uh, the um, FMC options. So when we go inside this airplane, here on the CDU menu, PMDG setup, aircraft, equipment, pages number 9, and number 10 apart from the last option is what we are going to talk about today so those pages they are called fms and fms2 the first option that we have is default acceleration altitude and you can set here your default acceleration altitude to match your company profile uh, this are some options that it will come by default on your FMC when you first use it. So for example, we are with the 737-800. If we go to the takeoff page and then next page, takeoff re reference page 2 of 2, you will see here acceleration height. And of course, you can change here the acceleration height for example I will take it to 6000 feet it's not a very realistic example just for you to understand that you can change on your FMC these altitudes and they are in a large font when you change it if you delete it it goes back to what they call default with a small font and where you select this default, it's on this page on the FMS. So default acceleration height is 1000, is the altitude that is here. So as you notice, I can change if I need to change on the day of my operation. But each and every airline, they configure what is the standard for them. So if you want to configure this standard for acceleration height, you can type here, for example, 1500 and you will see that 1500 is already changed there. And every time now that you open your FMC, these will be your default acceleration altitude. OK, I will revert it back to 1000, which is the one that I use. But please note, if you manually change your FMC on the day of your operation and then you try to change on this page that you shouldn't be doing during the flight preparation. If you already have something manually selected, the default will be override. OK, so even though I change now to 1500 my default acceleration height but as I manually change on the FMC for this specific flight to 6000 it will not show 1500 now if I delete my manual selection the last default acceleration height that I choose will be there and this is the same thing for the other options that we have on this list for example Second line, it says the default reduction altitude. As you can see here on the bottom, you have reduction 1000 feet. Anytime you change this, for example, to 800, the default one will change. Okay, so I use 1000 as standard. Then the third option is default cutback altitude. To have this default cutback altitude, shown on your FMC, you have to activate the cutback option. So as you can see right now, it is off. 
when you put it on you lose the acceleration height okay so you you lose the acceleration height this reduction is not the second option anymore is the third option as you can see my third option default cut back out to this 800 feet so this is 800 feet is the reduction when the cutback is on if i have it as off as you can see it's 1000 which is the one above so the default cutback altitude is the reduction when the cutback is on and the fourth option the next one is the default restore altitude for this cutback procedure which is set here to 3000 and you will have here as the option restore to 3000 okay so you lose the acceleration height the reduction is changed to the default cutback altitude and you have an extra option for the restore altitude for the cutback procedure it also shows you on the middle of the FMC on the right side what is going to be your any one percent when you reach the stress reduction altitude until you reach the restore normal uh, normal power normal climb power altitude okay so pay attention that the third and fourth option they are with reference to the cutback the third one is easy to understand because it says default cutback altitude but the default restore altitude is the altitude that the cutback power will be restored to the normal climb power okay so the third and fourth option they only work with cutback set it to on the fifth option that we have on this page called FMS is the default transition altitude. And for default transition altitude, when you are on the performance page, on the active performance init page, or the modification performance init page, or the performance init page, based if you will have it uh, executed or not, you will have a transition altitude here. So if you are flying for example in a different airspace and i will give you one option for example you are in the middle east uh, for example in dubai and most of your flights they depart from dubai you can change this default transition out to, to 1300 feet which is the transition altitude in dubai so you do not have to change it for every flight okay so this is the default transition altitude that will be put on on your fmc before you make any selection i must have to tell you that in real life when you select a specific departure from any airport it has the transition altitude stored in the database and this transition altitude changes automatically based on the selection that uh, you just made on the departure and arrival page when you select the runway for departure so it knows that for example in Curitiba where I am right now the standard is not 1800 feet so it will take uh, the correct one of course the pilot has to uh, cross-check this information but we still do not have this option on the PMDG the database that we get from the Navigraphy doesn't include the transition altitude so it will always be what you have here in the option as default transition altitude this is also valid and is the same thing for on the FMC page 2 default transition level so you will also have as the transition altitude a default transition level and the transition level you can find on the descent page forecast and it will be always 180 unless you change it once again in real life once you select your arrival you will have the transition level changed as well to what is in the database for that specific airport this is not active with the PMDG uh, yet the Navigraph does not give us this option so you only have the option to select 
the default one, the one that you most that you use the most, and then for every flight you have to check. And for example, if you are flying in uh, United States, uh, flight level 180 will be always the correct one, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, uh, so I keep my settings like this for the transition altitude and transition level as 18,000 feet. So if I'm uh, United States, I don't have to change. Every other place in the world as we have different transition altitudes and levels, then I do have to change. The next option that we have is default engine out acceleration height. And this is again, on the takeoff reference page number two is the option that we have on the right side with cut back on or off it doesn't matter you will always have the EO ACL height which is the engine out acceleration height and this also the number that is going to be here by default you change on the FMC page two default engine out acceleration height so EO stands for engine out acceleration altitude and here is called height which is the correct one because it's above ground level but uh, here is just an option for you to select what's your default engine out once again as the acceleration height the reduction or the reduction and the restore for the cutback if you change it manually let's say in this case to na to 800 feet it's going to be on large font and it, then it doesn't matter what you have selected here it will not change okay uh, 1500 it accepts but as you can see it will not change because i have a manually inserted engine out altitude now if i delete the manually inserted one it reverts back to what i have on my uh, fms page 2 on the pmdg settings so usually i keep uh, 1000 feet for uh, everything apart from the cutback because I don't really use the cutback option. The last option that I'm going to show you on this video, it's on this FMC page two, is the maximum fix pages. And you have the option between two and six. So you have the option for two, and have the option for six what it changes when you go to the CDU fix page you will have the option to insert up to six fixes or just two fixes so this is the number of pages that you have from one to six as you can see here I can uh, select uh, for example Curitiba VOR I can select uh, Curitiba sorry Airport, Sierra Bravo, Charlie Tango. Uh, I can select my destination, Sierra Bravo, Bravo Romeo in this case. Uh, I can select uh, the Bravo Sierra India uh, ILS there. I can also select now on the fifth page, let's say my alternate, Sierra Bravo, Charlie Foxtrot. And on the sixth page, my VOR for there, Charlie November Foxtrot. Okay, so if you have maximum fix pages as six, you will have six pages. You have six fix to put uh, on your fix info. Of course, if you change it to two, then you only have two pages. In this case, Curitiba. Uh, VOR and the airport that I selected and if you go next it doesn't go to the third page it just keep you between page one and two okay so two of two one of two if you want more fix info options you can select six and then you will see page one of six page two of six page three of six four of six five of six and six of six the standard for Boeing is to have two but the companies they have they can pay to Boeing uh, for Boeing to give them uh, four extra fixes that can be helpful depending on your type of operation okay so once again I hope you like this video if you like it hit the like button and Share it with your friends. If you have any doubt, leave in the comments below and I see you 
next time. Bye-bye.